So we use diaspora, especially within academic context. I don't know if that's always the right word for us. You know, different kinds of folks have their own ways of describing the movements of their peoples. So maybe there's a term in tomorrow that we have or that we might come up with as a people to describe our specific kind of movement that's rooted in um, a long history of mobility, that also is rooted in a more contemporary migration of our peoples that is tied to the US colonization of our islands and the pathways that have opened up because of it. So long story short, I guess Cliff Notes version is that diaspora has many different ways of being used and for tomorrow's, maybe that's not the right term for us um, because of the, the nuance of our movements. But for me and my research at the moment, it, it kind of fits the conversation. We're having this new phenomena of tomorrow's moving in numbers that we've never seen before. Um, low, we have um, Chihuahuas have, that have been on the move since ever since, which is really um, fun to talk about in some contexts where it feels, sometimes it feels a bit heavy and, and hard to hear that, you know, Underwood has argued that um, in his earlier work that Chihuahuas are the, the, the thing that is on the go, that is our export from our islands. But when you put it within a larger context of of movement, we've always been on the go. We are people rooted in mobility. We're known for our canoes. We're known for having those relationships with neighboring islands. We are a mobile people, and that's that's like at the heart of who we are. Um, in terms of the military being a pathway for our movement, and that's something that I'm looking at because we have so much discussion around how the militarization of our islands has had and continues to have detrimental impacts on our people, the land, the ocean, our skyscapes, etc. But um, as someone who grew up in the States, I'm also thinking about how can I contribute to this conversation to also problematize our movement and migration that's tied to the military. So my grandfather um, ended up joining the Navy, like many of his peers, and ended up leaving Guahan in the 60s. And this is, you know, right after Typhoon Karen, when the island is also going through another kind of wave of being rebuilt. And uh, then you start to see this outflux of uh, Chamorro families going abroad. So while the military is rebuilding our islands to fit its needs and introducing a wage-based economy that we've never had before in this kinds of um, ways that suit their needs, then we have folks like my grandfather trying to figure out like, what do I do for my family and what are we, what do we do? And so that's, that's my family's story. Um, and this is kind of military within my family that continued on. And, you know, I was an army brat for some time growing up. Um, it continues on. So you start to see the initial movements. And then sometimes there's that second kind of movement within families where we're moving around the states. And I tell my students, I tell other tomorrows that I hang out with that we really have to be easier on one another because um, there are a lot of us and we have very different ways of understanding our tomorrowness. So being tomorrow in San Diego, it's not the same as being tomorrow here in Guam. It's totally different. We have overlap in things, um, but we have different contexts, different social, cultural, geographic contexts that shape us in different ways. So we're still tomorrow. We're tomorrow for mix. We're tomorrow if we live abroad. We're tomorrow if we're here within the Marianas. But also um, the nuance of our experience is really important that we acknowledge when we tell our stories, when we try to relate to one another. And, you know, having a grandmother like Miss Guadalupe Lujan here um, made it so that when I come home, I'm I'm part of a huge family, and I've also learned from her that you just have to, especially if you're coming back home, um, relax, like be quiet, don't say too much, chill out for a minute because we didn't grow up in this context, so we think we know something in the states, but that is a one particular way of being tomorrow. When you come here and you want to be of help and you want to be in service and you want to be in community. Part of that is also taking a step back and allowing folks to tell you like what it's been like here and where you can help and where your skills could be utilized. Um, for those of us in DICE workspaces, we have to work a little bit harder to be connected to one another, to be connected to other tomorrows, to be connected to the Marianas, uh, but it's it's not impossible. Like, we're hungry for connection. And I think whatever, whatever way you can connect is valid and whatever you got, if it's a t-shirt or a decal, or maybe it's a dissertation, they're all valid ways of experiencing your tomorrowness.